one, a few days ago, I was walking through a local mall when I came across an unusual bit of tech. It was a kind of combination projector and tablet that completed crowdfunding on Indiegogo a few months ago. You may have seen me post a video on, fa on my Facebook and Instagram accounts. So today, I've gotten my hands on a review unit. Let's unbox it and take a look. So I think this is their instruction. If you, they say if you scan this QR code after you buy it, you have any questions, they have uh, online service to help you to guide you and stuff like that. Uh, I guess there are, they're all in Chinese maybe. Oh, that's the warranty and the instruction. but they're not in English. So this is it. It's pretty heavy. So in this box, power supply, USB cable, and the plug. Seems like a remote control. Yep. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on specs since I think often those don't reflect the actual performance of a product but basically it's a 1.6 kilogram or 3.5 pound box that runs uh, Android 6 has a 720p projector that makes a touch sensitive display on any surface let's plug it in and see if, if it's actually useful or just a gimmick the projector is 300 lumen which is okay but nothing great I'm going to turn off the light so we can see clearly. Now let's turn it on. So, oh, okay. I think it's adjusting the frame. It says, notice, please don't put anything inside this frame. Otherwise, it won't work properly. I got it. Remote control. Okay, on here it says, found the find the remote control and press. Uh, you can't see it because I turned off the light. So press the uh, arrow button and the free light button together at the same time. And then wait until it okay so it's the pairing process if you see the blue line and the red line is blinking at the same time that means uh, you successfully pair it okay next okay or i can click okay on the remote control to the next step but i'm just going to use my fingers so it asks you to um register an account i think on their website on the puppy q website i'm not going to do that right now but because i don't know what they're going to offer me so i want to check that first so before you use the projector device please read the terms carefully 
once you use the projector device it means you agree with all the terms and conditions okay okay now you can uh, so on the box it says once the device is activated you can say Ni hao ba di to activate it but I think it only works on sleeping mode when it's sleeping and you want to wait it up you say Ni hao ba di I think that's it so it's not in sleeping mode let's check out the interface first right now it's loading right and <laughs> so on the top it says puppy kitchen and puppy fitness and the store uh application store i don't know what's about is it just for tv or what oh you can also play games over here you can download games this is um, like an android store okay i go back i want to check other things first <clears throat> all right this is the puppy media so this is just like um, tv player Okay, I guess they probably have English. So let me take a look at the settings. General settings, any language, language. So, uh, no, it's just keyboard. What? Okay, I actually just talked to the distributor online. They said they have English versions, but it comes separately uh, apart from the Chinese version the English setting is not in the interface it comes separately so remember when you're going to order this product order the English version one instead of the Chinese version one so it's just like a tablet you can just swipe it bye bye okay let's go back to the page so puppy kitchen so if I'm going to, you know, I think it's quite convenient oh, to allow, turn down the, no. So I think if I'm going to, you know, I think it's pretty convenient because I always work in the kitchen. Okay. So that's for cooking. And this is for children, for kids. Okay, five plus eight is 13. So this kind of games for kids is good, I think. So that they can practice painting, drawing, and stuff. Uh, I suck at drawing. Right, clear, clear. Alright, so there are some you no know, games in here for kids. Like story, you can read a story, study English. Okay, next. What's next? For fitness. <laughs> Uh, okay, you have to connect with family. What do you mean? Oh, so in order to activate the fitness app, you have to register an account on their website and do it. Anyway, I don't exercise. So there are some Chinese TV and movies. Animations, all that. But do they have like American t TV shows? Is this, is this, oh, it's not the one I'm use, using. Usually I use Shinne. They have another media player called CIBN. Right. Kung Fu. <laughs> right, let's click and see if it will play. Is it free or what? Okay, you can see the preview, but if you want to see the full movie, you have to buy it. Still, it's a little bit dim. Oh, camera, camera, allowed. So they, there's a camera on the top, you see? The camera I am using and uh, it's filming the camera I'm using right now. Okay, now let's try using it just as a projector. Thank you. 
先手が勝つ森さんの口癖だそれでも戦うのは正しいことをなすべきだからイスペックイスペックのラブイスラージュバーデライトインマイルームイスティブライト I think it works better in、uh, lower lights, like in the darker room. But the scream is definitely big enough. The puppy kill is selling for about $900. That's really stiff for something that's a bit too dim for serious home theater. A bit under spec as a tablet and running an older version of Android. It's short throw and that's a big plus in a projector. It's not bad for a child proof tablet, but Quite bulky, and again at $900, a tough sell. It's definitely for early adopters, and a touch sensitive projected screen is cool in love and potentially useful in love. I'm sure we'll see more of this tech. For kids, I would like a way to mount it out of arm's reach, maybe up on the bedroom wall, so they can break it and are only interacting with the projection. For general use, I would love something pocket sized and more affordable. Even if it meant taking a performance hit, it's great that it has a battery, but it's still too big and awkward to really carry around with you. Also, Google Play Store. Mine didn't have it. Maybe because it's the Chinese version. But if you live elsewhere and order one, check with the seller and make sure it comes with the Play Store installed. Okay, what do you think of the Puppy Cube? Would you buy one as is? To、what sort of changes would you like to see in future versions? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. If you could subscribe and share this video online, it's a huge help. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.